Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. With the turbo bolted in place, I got a couple vacuum lines to hook up. And I need to purge this uh, oil line. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up a jump box because for some reason my battery drained down. Hook up the jump box, purge this oil line, plug that in, hook up the rest of my stuff here, disconnect my ignition and fuel, crank the engine until I lose uh, my oil pressure low light. And then fire this thing up. So let's get cranking. Whenever you are putting a turbo in, you definitely want to purge your oil line and make sure you got oil flowing right at the turbo. Then after that, you want to uh, crank it again once you hook up the line to make sure that you got oil pressure in that turbo before you fire it up. You don't want to dry start the turbo. As soon as you start a car, that turbo might spin, you know, 30 40 60 thousand rpms uh, just at idle and you don't want it running with no oil in it so it's cranking the car three different times for about 30 seconds on the fourth time the oil light finally went out and as you can see i got oil in that glove the glove is black so i'm gonna go ahead and hook that oil line up and uh continue putting it together I have the ignition coil unplugged, fuel pump relay out, everything else is hooked up. I'm going to prime this thing one more time, make sure I got good oil pressure up there. So, when that oil light goes out, I'll be clear to put in the air box the rest of the stuff and fire this thing up. See that oil light go out? Good to go to start it. So let me go ahead and put my air box and stuff in, drop my coolant in, then I can fire this up. So we're gonna go ahead and fire Queen B up and uh, let it idle for a few minutes. As soon as I start it, I'm gonna run back and see if it smokes. So let's see here. Shouldn't smoke no reason for it to it's been sitting i guess about three weeks now then check engine light didn't work there it is fire it up don't see any smoke let me get this jump box off of here let it idle for a few minutes that oil light went out that's about how much oil I got into the glove, about a finger and a half. So, not a whole lot of oil going in the glove there. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.